Clayton here with Oxbow and today we are going over the new Renegade 2.0 as well as the Renegade Bluetooth X. Um, what some of the features are with these radios and what the differences are between the two. So stay tuned. One of the big advantages that our radio has for the backcountry, especially if you're going to be venturing into snow conditions, snowmobiling, skiing, anything of that nature, is the entire inside over the microphone and the speaker is lined with a waterproof membrane. So that's going to keep all the moisture out of the radio as far as moisture freezing onto your microphone and the speaker, which a lot of other radios have problems with. They get really cold in those wet conditions and they'll freeze up and the speaker or the microphone stops working properly. The other thing that we have is a completely waterproof sealed button here so no moisture can get back behind that button again freezing over causing you issues there both of these radios come ip56 rated which means that you can be riding in the harshest weather conditions you can be riding on your snowmobile dirt bike street bike anything like that it can be getting water pressure pushed onto it uh, from the rain it splashes any of that kind of stuff they just can't be submerged so that's where the limitations are going to be so both these radios come with a 36 hour battery life using our battery saver technology which allows you to have really extended times even through the cold weather i mean that's what they were initially designed for is to be in the elements and you will get a very long battery life out of both these radios uh, most people, I don't necessarily recommend it, but most people say how they can get multiple days worth of riding before they even think about recharging the battery. Um, we made sure um, through experience of our previous model radios, we have reconfigured the layout of this radio. So we got rid of both of the side buttons over here. We got rid of any knobs or anything like that. So this radio, when you're using it and it's on your shoulder, you really can, even with big heavy gloves, just squeeze the whole radio, hit that button. We made sure that this button was extended a little bit bigger. Um, you can hit that button and not worry about hitting other functions or buttons or turning down the volume, changing channels, anything like that. Inside, we have an aluminum chassis. Um, it does come with a rechargeable lithium ion battery. The antenna is grounded to the aluminum chassis, which actually improves our range slightly. Both the radios come in the box with our patented clipping system, which allows you to clip out, straight out of the box to about 90-95% of the backpacks out there. Um, so it makes it super simple, so you just slap the back on there. And then this is the style of backpack that, that this clip will attach to any of these styles where it's just the the regular straps coming over the shoulders uh, it makes it super simple so this clip would literally just go around the shoulders pad you clamp it down and this guy's not going anywhere every radio comes with a tether make sure that you use the tether let me kind of show you how the tether is supposed to work so when I'm going to clip on I'm just gonna go through this loop here and let me get this out of the way. Now, if I'm riding in my, for whatever reason, I ever, you know, take this out on a branch, I crash, whatever, the clip breaks, um, I'm not going to lose the radio. It's going to be tethered on, I'm going to keep it. Now, keep in mind, the radio is designed, this back clip is designed to be the weak point. So if there's, if you ever have a collision with anything, this should be the point that breaks. And that's really easy, it's just two screws, you can buy another one, throw it on there, it's really easy to fix and you're, you're back up and running. Now, one of the huge advantages that we have with our radio system versus some of the competitors out there is our antenna, as you can see, is exposed right here. It's not buried behind my probe, shovel, anything like that, that actually gets a lot of interference in your backpack. So by having my antenna out here, even though it's a two watt radio, I'm still gonna get significantly better range out of it than a lot of the competitors radios where you're going to be buried getting all that interference. The other big advantage to this is if I want to change channels, check battery life, adjust the volume, do anything like that, the whole radio is right here for me to use. So I don't have to dig into my AVI bag, routing cables out, digging in there to try to do anything with the radio. It's all right here to, for me to be able to use all the time. Um, if you don't have one of the standard type of backpacks um, say mostly it's just the vest is what I'm talking about we do have additional clips 
that'll allow you to attach the different styles of vests. Um, those are sold separately, um, but I just wanted to mention them here. So for example, this is an Arva vest right here. We have a clip that will go to this webbing um, that's running horizontal on the backpack. And this radio will clip right into that, which is a super sleek way to do it. We also have rivet mounts for some of the other packs out there um, to allow you to just rivet it to like a chest plate or something like that. Uh, but between the, the three different mounts that we have, we have yet to encounter a single backpack that we are not able to connect to. So now I want to run through some of the different features um, of the radio itself. So to turn it on, you're just going to hold down the power button. Now I'm powered up. I'm on channel five with a sub channel or privacy code of four. A lot of different manufacturers, it, they kind of swap these terms around. If you're familiar with like the BCAs, that's the same. So if you're on channel five on a BCA sub channel privacy code four, it's going to be 100% identical. This radio is 100% uh, compatible with the BCA radios, the Mountain Lab radios, all of that stuff. So in total, we've got um, 22 channels with 121 privacy codes. So to change the privacy code, all I'm gonna do is hit the menu button. Now it's flashing. I go up to whatever the code is that I want. Say I'm on six, seven. I can either just let it flash there and it's gonna save or I can push the side button to save it. Either way works. You hit the menu button again. We're gonna have voice activation that you can turn on if you want. This is different sensitivity levels. So that's if I wanted to use this completely hands-free and just talk to the radio, um, it'll start transmitting when it picks up the sound of my voice, um, depending on the, you know, the, the sensitivity setting that you have it on. Um, next we've got um, the, this is the, the Roger beep. So what that means is that, let me turn that on real quick. So that means when I hit the button to transmit, it's gonna tell me when I let go of the button that it went through successfully. So that's called the Roger beep. Next we have um, the keypad beep, which is this one. So that's on, so that means when I'm hitting the buttons, you can hear the audible sound to know that you're actually pushing the button. Um, over here we have the volume adjustment. So it goes up to level nine. You can turn it down, turn it up. To lock the radio out, I'm just going to hold this lock key for about five seconds. And that'll lock the radio out, so none of the other buttons will be able to be pushed. However, you can still turn it off with the lock button on. So if you want to turn it off, it's going to give me the, the tone to let me know I turned it off. I turn it back on. That lock button is still going to be on and it's going to be saved to all the settings that I had when I turned it off. So let me turn the lock button off again. I'll show you the two other functions here. So if I quickly push this bottom button here, that's gonna open up the squelch. So if the signal that you're trying to receive is too weak to open up the radio channel, say you're really far from your group and you're having a hard time, like it's coming in and out, you can open up that squelch and that'll just open up the signal to everything. So instead of it being broken coming in and out, you'll be able to hear it better if you're really pushing the range of this thing. And then to scan channels, if I want to find a channel that somebody is on, I just hold this button down for about five seconds and that's going to go into a scan and it will stop once it detects a signal somewhere. So if somebody else were on, you know, channel two and they were talking right now, it would stop on channel two and I would know that, you know, somebody's on channel two right there and I can try to reach out for help or, you know, whatever, whatever I'm trying to use it for. So hold that down to turn it off and then I'll hold this power button off turn that off. Now, the only other difference between the 2.0 radio and the Bluetooth radio is that the Bluetooth radio has a Bluetooth chip built into it. And what that means or allows you to do is I can pair this with my earbuds, my headphones, my helmet intercom systems, my Sina, Cardos, Uclears, you name it. You can pair this with all of those devices. So if I wanted to be using a radio, but wanted to be hands-free having the intercom or something in my helmet to listen to and to talk through, I can do that. Now, currently you, you have to push the button still to be able to transmit. Um, now, depending on when you watch this video, this is November, 2022. Within a couple months, we will have a 
remote Bluetooth button that you can strap to your handlebars, you can strap it to your wrist or whatever, and I can then push, put this radio wherever I want to. I can have my headset on and then push the button to talk and I'll be able to communicate with all my friends um, completely hands-free and wirelessly. Um, that, the radios are already pre-programmed to take that Bluetooth button that we're developing right now. Um, so even if you buy the radio right now and the button comes out in two months, you'll be able to still buy the button and then pair it all up just fine. So to pair this radio, um, I'm, first gonna have, I'm first gonna turn the device I'm trying to pair um, to turn that into, into find mode or pairing mode first. Make sure that, and that's essential, make sure the other device is in pairing mode first. So if I were pairing this to my headphones, I put the headphones in pairing mode, and then I'm gonna come here and hold down the Bluetooth button for five seconds. And you can see that flashing, the Bluetooth one. That's gonna remain flashing until it pairs. Uh, once it's paired, that will stay solid. Now, to pair to the Bluetooth button, I'm going to hold this down again, and it's going to turn on, you can see Bluetooth 2. That Bluetooth 2 is designed to pair directly to the Bluetooth button. Now, to turn all the Bluetooth off, I'm just going to hold this down again, and it's going to turn all the Bluetooth off. Now, if you're venturing into backcountry avalanche terrain, keep in mind that Bluetooth can interfere with your avalanche beacons. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, if I'm venturing into backcountry avalanche terrain, I know I'm going to be, you know, going into that kind of riding area. I'm going to have my Bluetooth turned off. If you have the Bluetooth turned off, it's not a problem at all. Um, <clears throat> but the idea here is that this radio can be used for a lot of different applications. So say if you want to use it for hunting and pair it with your earbuds, or if you want to use it for side by siding or dirt biking or road biking, any of those, of those other applications, this radio is really cool because I can now pair it with all of my different listening devices and communicate with my friends, which is a really cool feature if you're doing any of those activities and you don't want to have to, to stop and talk to somebody using the radio. You can keep riding down the highway at 60 miles an hour, be talking to your buddies, no problem, and you get the extra range of having the radio and not having to connect Bluetooth to Bluetooth, which we all know that range is terrible, and then you get the disconnection issues. Um, this way you don't have to do that. You're pairing <coughs> your headset or your earbuds to the radio, this radio is staying on your person somewhere, and then you transmit via two-way radio frequency to your friends. That way you're never gonna get disconnected. You get the increased range of the two-way radio, but you can still use it hands-free listening to your helmet or whatever you want to do. And there you have it, the Renegade X Bluetooth. The Renegade 2.0 is the green version. Uh, available at oxbowgear.com.